So the NBA 2K24 courtside report on gameplay and pro play released a few days ago and one important aspect of the game that you need to improve on right now as in right now is the post game specifically in the mid range. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the news that came out a few days ago that has important implications for this gameplay style. I'm going to show you some combos that are going to be crucial in how to gain success out of these positions and why this position is going to dominate in NBA 2K24. So after the gameplay news was released, Mike Wang went on Twitter to give us so many details about the mid-range position. Generally, all advanced shot types, spins, step backs, got a buff in the mid-range, and all advanced layups such as euro steps, floaters, reverses, hops, and spins also got a buff. So mixing up your arsenal in NBA 2K24 is going to be important to dominate the game. And this is NBA 2K24 with Kobe Bryant on the cover. So it just made sense that the mid-range and the mid-post game got some much needed love. And the best thing is that these systems will continue to evolve but will mostly stay intact so you can start practicing right now. And we have to start with a face-up game. So out of a post-up position. So that is while holding L2, you want to tap the left stick towards the basket in order to face up against your defender. What this does is it will force your defender to open up his stance and from there, it's all about making the right read and attack the basket depending on which way he gives you. Now, one advantage of the face-up game, especially if you're being crowded, as you can see right there, Melo swinging his arms releases Kobe from a defensive stance and opens up his footwork to try and guard the paint. So from there, just initiate a step-back jumper. Easy money, right? As you can see right here, KD guards the middle, opening up his footwork in order to guard the paint. So from there, just hit a step back jumper and that's easy work. The best thing is in combination with different badges such as back down punisher or dream shake, you can combo this with your post spin shots, your post shimmy fades. And one move that I really like to combine with my post shimmy fade is this post retreat. And as you can see right here, not only are you stepping backwards, but it also gives you contact to push your defender backwards and give you that extra bit of space to hit that contested fadeaway jumper. Against guys like Lamar Odom, who's six foot eleven, long and athletic, these are great shots that will allow you to hit the shibby fade and turn that into a wide open shot. And not only does it work against the CPU, but as you can see right here, use this against user controlled defenders, and you'll be able to hit all these types of skill shots. And the important thing is that the changes that will be made to the contest system will be conducive to using these setups in order to efficiently hit these types of shots. Now, if your defender overplays you, you want to use your post exits, release L2 and hold the left stick to the left here in order to open up your stance, attack the wide open space towards the middle, and give Melo that nice two-handed dunk. And this right here is a classic example of having the right counter move. So in these two or three initial moves, my defender was able to follow, I hit him with the momentum cross and a step back counter. Always have a counter to your defender's counters. Make sure that you read and react. Don't stay stuck in one specific move. If your defender steps up against you, use your post exits to attack the basket. And from there, man, just use Melo as a triple threat demon. As you can see right here, a nice pump fake into a step over, spin out into a snatch back, into an attack crossover left James Harden flabbergasted and not knowing where we went. This specific move right here has quietly become my favorite triple threat launch move. It's a pump fake into a step over into a spin counter which can combo really well with your different step back jumpers. Watch out for that tutorial man when 24 hits, we're gonna drop that bad boy and let me tell you, it's one of my secret moves. So remember when using Melo, always start at the perimeter, use his different hesitation moves, his jab steps and create openings and angles to attack the paint. From there, once you're in a face-up position, just remember that he has his different types of spins out of the post-up position. You counter that with your different left stick movements. The spin-spin counter right here is an example once again of having the right counter against your defender. And with defense being vastly improved in NBA 2K24, these situations will become important. Scotty Pippen right there, user control defense. 
thought he clapped me up, but in reality, I was seeking out contact in, able to in order to counter him with a dynamic post entry into that spin fadeaway jumper. So combine your post spin exits into different types of dynamic post entries or use that to attack the basket trying to see how your defender is overplaying you see here he was trying to you know use help defense using tim duncan so instead i attack the baseline just make sure that you're aware of how to set your defender up put that initial pressure towards the basket force them to guard the basket and then counter with your different post spin exit and spin hesitations so while I don't go into detail into these different post moves in this video, I do have a two-part series on using the post in NBA 2K23 that I'm fairly confident will carry you over into NBA 2K24. Just use Melo as this dynamic post-up powerhouse man. Combine his back downs with a drop step to get these types of finishes in the paint and use Melo's ability to hit fadeaways, different types of skilled layups, different types of hesitation moves as setups as you can see right there even against a giant like George Murasan, we use that post spin hesitation as a setup to hit that contested jumper but because he's Carmelo Anthony man he can hit all these types of difficult shots so let me tell you I'm very excited for the future of NBA 2K especially with what we've seen in the NBA 2K24 gameplay blog as you know my, one of my favorite things to do in NBA 2K is recreate signature moments so pro play is going to come in so clutch but the gameplay news that Mike Wang and the dev team shared specifically on buffing mid-range shots, skill shots and skilled finishes you're gonna want to practice these moves and these are the basics basically I'm teaching you concepts right here in NBA 2K24 we'll take a deep dive in stick execution but believe me, start working on this aspect of your game. Be familiar with the different setups out of the post, your different post drive fakes, post retreats, post spins, and post hesitations. These are the setups you're going to need in, to, in order to become an elite scorer out of the post and in the mid-range. And in combination with your triple threat work and your mid-range post-up mastery, you're going to do justice by Kobe Bryant as the cover athlete of NBA 2K24. So I hope you enjoyed this player breakdown. I still got a few more in me before NBA 2K24 drops. I've got one focused on Jason Tatum. I've got another one focused on Paul George and a specific move that I really want to showcase. But between now and 2K24, we're going to focus on things to look out for, some things you need to work on, and things I'm looking forward to when NBA 2K24 drops. So please enjoy the content, sub to the channel if you enjoy this content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.